We're back with the Scion XB. In a previous video, we diagnosed that it needed three new door lock actuators. They were getting powers, getting grounds, but the motor inside itself wasn't operating. It wasn't putting the locks up or down. So in this video, we're gonna run through the process of how to replace the passenger front uh, door lock actuator. If you can do the passenger front, and then you can do the others in the rear, they're all done very similarly. All right, follow along. We'll uh, get this thing fixed. Well, first thing we wanna do is pull off the panel. We have one screw here, one screw here, and then just a screw clip here. And then the panel, um, just pull from here and the whole thing will just separate. It's just held on with clips. You also wanna take this little triangle trim piece off. It's just held in uh, with clips on the back. Now, the panel, once you have it uh, separated, will just, oh man, that lighting gonna kill me so the whole thing just separates or lifts up and then out and then you'll have uh, wires for the switches here that you just um, clip and that whole panel can be pulled off so once all that's removed we can pull this plastic back it helps if this is done on a warmer day because this will be a little more pliable but can't control the weather um, so now once all the plastic's out of the way, we can go ahead and get this connector off. There's a little push tab here, and then it just comes out. Having a little screwdriver helps. Um, it's hard to get your fingers in there. Uh, so just push it, and then it'll, it'll just pop off like that. So now we have a couple options. Um, if you have a little stubby screwdriver, Phillips, there's a one screw here. And then just diagonal, you can feel it right here, uh, is another screw that you can pop off and then this whole unit will come out. Putting it back together, uh, you may need uh, to pull this off or these out to kind of wiggle things around. Uh, these are a T30 um, and they can pop off and that's just a 10 millimeter. And then it just allows the unit to wiggle for getting the new one in. But that's if you feel you need it. Otherwise, if you're able to just get it in uh, without moving that stuff, then it's just those two screws unit pops off uh, and then the new unit pops in. So you can see on the old one, there's a little slot here uh, for a ball to go in and then this kind of slides in. I can show you possibly, oh yeah, good. So that little ball here and then that little slot is where the new one uh, just, just slides in. So if you're able to uh, just line it up and slide it right in, then there's no need uh, to take this off and these off uh, to wiggle. But if for some reason you're struggling getting that back in to line up, then um, pulling these off can be beneficial because it gives you that wiggle room. So let's put the new one in and then bolt it up. So I fought with mine for a while, but I think I've, I've found the trick. So if you have them lined up like this, make sure that this one goes in its little notch first, then to get this side in the ball you can push on it to kind of close it up a little and then and then it slipped right on for me but I was I was trying to push on it and wiggle it and angle it and it just wasn't working but once I got this one in that's easy just slip it in and then to get it over the ball I just pinched it together and it just popped right on so uh, that's a little trick um, if it works for you but we can go ahead and put our connector back on and then tightening it up, it was easiest to put this top one and screw in first. And then that bottom one kind of lined itself up. And then as far as tightening, you know, it wasn't very tight coming off. So tightening it back up, just remember it's a tiny little screw and just plastic. So um, it doesn't need a whole lot, just good and good and snug. I did end up taking this off uh, and these out. When you put them back in, just use a little Loctite or make sure that they're tight because sometimes these will vibrate and wiggle themselves back out. So I like using Loctite on them when I put them back in. So once you have uh, any bolts that you took off, put back in, were plugged in, go ahead and manually make sure that it's gonna operate. And then now we can uh, come to here. We have this plugged back in and just make sure that it'll 
it'll work. And it's going up and down through its full range. So perfect. So now we can go ahead and put our plastic back on, try to stick it uh, the best we can, and then we'll put our uh, panel back on. We just line up our clips to their little respective holes and then just tap all that back in. And once we do that, then we can set our a little handle back in and put that screw in that screw in that screw clip in and then just our little wing piece and that's it all right panels back on and then we have lock unlock so confirm fix well there you go that's how you can replace a door lock actuator uh, in your scion they're pretty simple just a couple of screws uh, and they pop right out. Popping them back in, that's a, a different story. It's not too complicated. It just takes a little uh, fidgeting and, and maneuvering, but it'll, it'll go back in. All right, well, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you on the next one.